Welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. With me today is Kim May. She's the director of the Pike County Salvation Army. Thanks for joining me here today. Thank you. And as we sit here, we have a table full of empty bowls in front of us. We do. And we're here to talk about why these empty bowls are here and what you're doing to keep bowls from being empty here in Pike County. So tell okay. us a little about this year's Empty Bowls Luncheon. Okay, well, this is our 10th annual Empty Bowls Luncheon, which is very special to us. Um, it surely has grown over these 10 years and become very successful and we're very proud of that. And what it is, is we have the Empty Bowls Luncheon and what it is, is we have all kinds of different soups, stews, chili, camp stew from local restaurants and local organizations that make the soup for us and people. And you get to come in and you can eat all you want. You can try all <laughs> the different soups, you can get full. And you also get to pick out a handcrafted clay bowl from someone that made a bowl right here in our community for this event. And all the proceeds goes toward our food bank that is on site right here in Troy at our Salvation Army Service Center. And that's the theme is we don't want anyone in our community to have an empty bowl. We don't want anyone to be hungry. So that's the purpose of this whole event. And having the empty bowls and obviously the the kind of the soup kitchen motif uh, yes. what a lot of people would would see especially in, in larger cities kind of lends into that helping food insecurity here in pike county because a lot of folks don't realize that there's you know there are people who go without around here and, yes. and that's what you're trying to do is try to help those people be able to just have a meal. Exactly. We don't want anyone to be hungry to have an empty bowl. And and how significant is this fundraiser to what you're doing at the Salvation Army? Well, this is our second largest fundraiser. So that goes a long way to providing food for the shelves in our food bank. As you can you, you can understand that. Uh, we do get a lot of donations. People have food drives for us, but we are always short on something especially protein, meat products. And we have to make sure that we have food for those people that are homeless, that don't have a can opener even. Mm. We have to have food that's pop open, ready to eat for those people as well. So we, to, to fill all those needs. And that's what we use this money for and what this fundraiser is for. And a pretty so. significant fundraiser in and of itself. But let's talk a little about uh, what folks have an opportunity to do here because we're looking at the bowls in front of us here yes. and a variety of bowls here. Now there's there's two bowl options. We're going to talk about the first bowls okay. here. Uh, everybody that, that buys a ticket will be able to get one of these, uh, I hate to say plain bowls, but they're, they're, you know, uniquely made every, they're individually made, but this is a bowl that someone who just pays a ticket, they get, uh, they get an opportunity to get a bowl they like this, They get to pick right? out a bowl of their choice. Mm -hmm. And these are done by local people, not professionals. So it's the, each bowl is unique in itself. As you can see, they're all the different colors of glaze. And like this was a hand-thrown bowl. And see how they did the glaze? Yeah, there's a slight painting. Right there, right here, you've got, yeah. uh, you, you know, you've got something more, a little bit more unique there. Uh, and that it's got some uh, some some paint work on there that's a little bit different than some of the others that you see down here. Exactly. I mean, there's you know some that are just, but I mean still you know and, and different the, options. This one's got a got handles on it, so here so I mean it's more of like a like more like a chili bowl and it someone, is. someone who likes uh, their coffee strong might want to have two <laughs> exactly. two handles on that coffee right there. So and all the different color glazes. And if you'll pick that one up, you yes. see how they did the glaze. And then there's, oh yeah, there's a, this, you can, folks can see there, yeah. some different design on that right there. So uh, they get a chance to get one of these uh, locally crafted bowls, mm -hmm. but then there's an opportunity to bid on some special bowls. You've yes. got one right there in yes, front of you. Yes, by there, professional so. potters. Mm -hmm. And this is just one example I brought today. Uh, uh, Drew Black, right here from Troy, she did this one. and. See the unique design? Oh yeah, the feet on it, and it's got some yeah. bead work on it there. I just love so. it, and I think she uses Alabama or maybe Pike County clay. Okay. Because it's a little more rough. Okay. But isn't it beautiful? And the opportunity and to, to bid that on uh, for an auction there. Yes. And there's a number of those auction. of those uh, those bowls will be available for them for yes. some better some more fundraising efforts there for people. We have about involved. ten. Okay. That we'll have on the bid silent auction table from professional potters. And just this is just one example 
but we really have some very beautiful and unique bid bowls this year. It's worth coming out just to see those. Just see that, and if somebody wants to be there, tell them how, to, how, how can they come, when and where is it going to be? Okay, so. it's from 11 to 12 at Bush Memorial Baptist Church, the Family Life Center. Yep. It's come and go, Okay. so you don't have to be there at a certain time, but the earlier you come, the more choice you have of bowls. <laughs> but we do have a lot of bowls, so we have plenty of bowls for everyone to look at. And Troy University students, they get in for $10 with their Okay, so ten dollars for Troy students, and then yes. twenty dollars for, for for the general public yes. there. So. and we're going to have entertainment. All right. Ed Watley. All right, we'll so be picking and grinning. Food, fun, <laughs> and helping helping yes, folks in the community. Absolutely. So can't think of a better Friday way to spend your Friday. So thanks for joining us here thank today, sir. You. And thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.